Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 248. 248. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. Time is running out to book holiday travel. We're talking all about the holidays, really, for the next few weeks. Yes. Um, and there are 80 or so agents at MEI and Mouse Fan Travel uh, ready to check rates for you. So check out their website and sign up for their newsletter. It's never too late. We have done last minute Okay, things. it can it, be too late. Well, like January 1st is pretty much too late. Well, of course. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thanks to MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel for sponsoring us this year. Thank you very much. And also we have a uh, contest winner announcement. We appreciate Trader Sam's Coffee for offering uh, one of these happiest brew that ever sailed along with the mug. Peppermint mocha. So and good. You, you have uh, you enjoyed that. It's done. <laughs> Finished. So we've actually already contact, contacted the winner and her name is Altair. Um, and I just wanted to say uh, thank you for everybody who uh, who entered. And once again, thanks to Trader Sam's. I've been able to explore a lot of their delicious coffees. Yep, and so. you can find them online for holiday purchasing. And I have to apologize for the delay in the show. I ended up getting a head cold, and I guess you could still hear it a little bit in my voice, but uh, finally able to talk To record, again. yes. yes. So uh, I hope, hopefully that is a good thing. <laughs> and there is Princess Aurora. We are... Uh, just checking out the grand opening of Disney's Grand Floridian Gingerbread House, which we do every year. And uh, it started a little late this year. We can see Jeff Barnes back there. Yes, he is the pastry a who's chef. who of the pastry division. <laughs> yes, there was a, a number of different pastry chefs, uh, top, top ones from the different resorts, including the contemporary, again, Jeff Barnes. But we have Chef Eric here. Uh, and he usually takes about five seconds to cut the ribbon. Like there's He's no... the master of the ribbon cutting. <laughs> he doesn't like to wait or right. waste. He doesn't fool around. <laughs> so he doesn't say anything. He just goes and, and cuts it. And we have a couple of the, uh, of the penguins from Mary Poppins here. And this is really a nice event. This year it was like a big to-do. Usually there's not so many... You know, this time you had ex almost like executives, you had other pastry chefs, and uh, they have had characters, though, for the last four or so years when they do the uh, the grand opening. It so just seems to be getting bigger and bigger every year, and I think next year they'll be it'll be an anniversary year, so can 20th, you imagine? I believe. This is like the 19th year, so um, next year would be year 20, so it'll be interesting to see if they do anything differently. Uh, the Santa we just saw is a little more, like if you look through the years, it, they've really changed his face a little where it looks more lifelike. And I would say that about some of the other Santas and such as well. Um, that deer, I think, has been there for two or three years now. So they're always kind of changing up just a little, although the house mostly is the same. Right. The, uh, the general idea of it is the same, but they touch the things up. Right. So uh, you'll get little differences. And these these are often uh, different every year as well. You know, they are. This year there were some that I recognized. I don't believe I remember the 101 Dalmatians, but don't quote me. But they have had, um, like last year, they had Elsa and Anna, and we've seen the princesses. So... Um, I'm sure they redo them, but uh, some of the uh, some of the windows are are somewhat the same uh, right. this year. Right. And as you were mentioning, this is above the windows all over the the house. And I really enjoy like that's one of the things I wait for each year during the holidays to see what characters are above the windows. And they have hidden Mickeys as well. There'll be 19 hidden Mickeys this year. There's one hidden Mickey for every year, so next year there'll be 20. Just like I think the uh, the Beach Club Carousel also is the same. Now we are at Disney's Contemporary Resort, and they also have a gingerbread display, which is harder to find than ever. Yeah, the, <laughs> that part of the uh, Hidden Mickey game, or, or it could be the Hidden hidden uh, Gingerbread House game. They have moved it, but it's really not that hard to find. It's way off in the corner by the window. It's not hard to find, but it's way off. Okay, if you're not <laughs> looking, it's near the Fantasia store. Right. And obviously, like, do you remember that big wreath? They used to have that big wreath. And so it's right up against that window, big window. Um, but anyway, it is uh, Cinderella Castle themed. You've got uh, Cinderella and Prince Charming. And it's similar to the last number of years when they started doing the, the Mary Blair, uh, the Mary Blair, the Small World, right. the Frozen, uh, that styling. So it's similar uh, this year as well. Uh, many years ago, they had a Pinocchio theme, but it wasn't like this. It wasn't like a big display. I, I like in a sense. it. I like having the castle. I think mm -hmm. it, it's nice because we've had Frozen a number of years, so uh, I think it was a good change. Yeah, I mean, it's it's 
similar but different. Uh, they also sell a variety of different uh, treats. I will say Disney's Grand Floridian sells the most treats. I mean, they have like a big list of things they sell. But, but there are frozen treats here. Very good frozen treats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they. I mean, they have the gingerbread gelato, candy cane gelato, and some other different items. that Frozen uh, hot chocolate new this year. Yes, and I did not try that. Um, but anyway, they have a number of different items here. They also have started selling a mug, just like the Boardwalk has. And now we are at Disney's Beach Club Resort. And this year is probably maybe my favorite year for the horses. Right. The In a long time. I think this stitch themed uh, carousel, fantastic. Yes. And uh, I would say the carousel itself isn't necessarily stitch themed, but the you have stitch, you have Lilo and stitch here. And I, uh, I just think it's fantastic. And stitch reminds me of the stitch that used to be over at the boardwalk when they used to do the fireplace um, the oh, fireplace yeah, display yeah. where Donald Duck was underneath uh, his the backside mm -hmm. of Donald was by the fire. I really I really enjoyed that display. And Disney's Boardwalk Resort wasn't listed online as having a gingerbread display this year, but they do have one, and they kind of have one as themselves. You know, it has like the Boardwalk uh, air, restaurants on it. So it says Elvis here, and you see uh, Lilo, and she looks fantastic. And you have a Ho Ohana horse that has kind of. It sounds almost like a Lilo type name. Um, so this would be a great fit for the Polynesian. It would be a great. It absolutely would be. And it's been years and years since uh, Disney's Polynesian Resort has had a gingerbread display. They did have one like ten years ago. I remember. Nine or 10 years I ago. indeed remember that. Yes. And you have Stitch here on the horse, and this horse is is obviously themed to Lilo and Stitch. You can see the um, what do you call that? The the thing you ride the saddle. The saddle looks yeah. like Lilo's outfit with Ohana there, mm -hmm. and uh, and Stitch is on it, and so it's really themed. This one is themed towards the Lilo and Stitch, but once you get onto the carousel, it's not really as much a Lilo and Stitch theme. And uh, here it is, 18 years, 18 golden uh, Does gold it say Mickeys. the calories? It, you, one of the, these things used to tell you how many calories. Well, that's a, that's the uh, ginger, not the gingerbread, the chocolate display. Oh, yeah, that's right. At, uh, with like 4 million calories over at uh, the Swan. So this is fun. Every year they theme the horses differently. Well, it, this year, though, I can't guess. Compass. Ale, right. For ale and compass? That's what, that's what I'm wondering, because in the past, a lot of times they have like, let's say it's snowflake. Right. And then the, there'll be snowflakes. Um, but none of them see like Carol. It doesn't mean Christmas Carol. I don't know. Like, I don't see Christmas carols on the, you know, it used to be kind of themed where well, it is still very themed. No, no, it is. But like, you see these snowflakes here now that we're looking it, Duchess. It's called Duchess, yeah, right? But before it would have been called like snowflake or flurry or something. You know that who's going to know? Do... Our viewers. Our viewers will know exactly just... why they are called that. There's no, probably a meaning to like it. Like here, fleur, fleur, which would mean like flower in French, but there are some flowers on it, but they may all have flowers I on I spy a hidden Mickey there is, in there the is snow there. There is the hidden Mickey as well. So I, I spy and a hidden Denise yes, too. Yes, not that hidden. <laughs> um, but I really enjoy this gingerbread carousel so much. And, you can buy uh, these, not these exact ones, but uh, similar cookies. Well, it said that you could, but when I went in, and there's scrump uh, on scrump. the top. And it, this is a first year for scrump as a topper. Usually it's Tinkerbell. One year it was nothing. But um, when I went into the Beach Club Marketplace, they didn't have any gingerbread for sale. So hopefully by now they do. They were probably sold out. That was one of the first days. So well, Either that or they just forgot to put any out. They should sell Hidden Mickey Snow. Yeah. I would I mean, buy that. Well, it depends what it's made of. That's true. But like if it was like a, let's say it was a meringue, maybe a meringue. Um, but anyway, you can see, like I did articles on, I'm trying to do articles on all of these. Plus there's the U.S. Capitol with the Washington Monument. Well, we will have now more also. next week. Yes, we will have the one you just mentioned, the uh, U.S. Capitol. And we're also going to have the Boardwalk has a new display this year. Plus we maybe we'll have the one over at the the uh, the Swan, the, the oh, we will, Santa. We will definitely have that. Anyway, now we're going to move over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Our good friends invited us to check out this uh, par Disney Parks blog event. Yes, and we thought it was going to be like the Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam uh, dessert party, but it wasn't. It was a special holiday party with some desserts, but there was more characters than what you'll find at the Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam uh, dessert party. It reminded me a little bit of a, one of the DVC parties, yes. which was really nice, though. It was so great to see the characters and their holiday finery like this, and, and w not big lines. You had plenty of time to interact with them. It was good. It's kind of like going to the resorts during Christmas week. You'll see 
some of these costumes and maybe all of these costumes at one point or another, like we have seen Chippendale in the scarves, <laughs> maybe at like the contemporary or something in the, in the past. So, um, but anyway, it was really cute. It was nice. Like I think the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam dessert party has like goofy. Right. And Just here, goofy. Right. And we had so many here. I will say. <laughs> Something funny is about to happen here. I yeah. like how the person <laughs> <laughs> takes the tongs and okay. then grabs him. Well, yeah. Hands. I thought that was funny when you showed me. <laughs> See that whoopie pie? It's a red velvet whoopie pie. It's one of the best things in the world to, to try if you like junk food. Like sometimes it, I you do. Know, <laughs> surprisingly, all of this was really good. Well, the the uh, the whoopie pie, I, it, I was told you can get it at Fairfax Fair. So get it because it's really good. And here is an alternate angle of the projections on the Hollywood top. Hour. This is the angle you see it at Disneyland Paris, but of course the projections aren't coming from the same place So, you know that whole side of the tower is not being lit as far but as I, I quite like this angle But it's not you you can this is an off-limits area most of the time Well, this is sunset se season's greetings and I would think from where the rock and roller coaster is can you trees see can't see it oh. Not one bit. You okay, have well, to go behind the wall. Then to... you can't see it <laughs> I don't know, Now I guess. this this is actually wonderful the new jingle bell jingle bam with extra more BAM this year. I love this show. This show has uh, has really grown on me. I think Disney's Hollywood Studios is the best park this year overall for the holidays, which is something I wasn't expecting, I would say. Well, not including the, uh, the upcharge Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party event. I think that event would trump this stuff. Well, we'll say just for... You can't beat that parade. You for, can't beat it. Yes, for, but for regular uh, daytime guests... I think Disney's Hollywood Studios is best. I mean, you've got this terrific fireworks projection show here. Um, you have Sunset Season Screetings. I think Echo Lake is fantastic. It's beautiful. It um, really is. So it really, it's kind of like you have Christmas in a lot of the park, which I like. And uh, I mean, and I'm not saying Epcot's not good this year, too. Oh, yeah. Epcot, always good. And this year, it's called the Epcot Festival of the Holidays. We'll be talking all about that next week. For now, why don't you tell me a little bit more about this show? Well, it's 14 minutes long. It actually felt, I thought, a little longer. But as you can see, the lasers this year, you can see much better than before. They're like sparkly. So whatever they do with them mm -hmm. is very interesting because I was not able to photograph them last year, but you can actually photograph well, them that, much that easier. Well, that sparkly is snow. There's a lot more snow. See, that's all snow that's making those sparkles. Oh, I don't know. So, I... And, and it didn't snow as much last year. It waited till the end, I thought, to snow. Oh, well, I thought maybe in the, uh, because I can actually photograph them, I thought they were doing something a little different. And oh, I my favorite. This is the best part of all. It is the uh, Nightmare, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas, Christmas segment, yes. So they have um, a number of different segments, including Mickey's Christmas Carol, Beauty and the Beast, Pluto's... Uh, you have Nightmare Before Christmas. So there's a bunch of different uh, different scenes. And uh, really, again, much more fireworks than ever before. Um, and then really it's kind of, it's tied around a prep and landing, Wayne and Lanny. And I, and I think more people this year seem to know about prep and landing. It seemed the first year people had no, remember at the dessert party, nobody knew what the decorations were or who they I, were? I do remember that. We did the uh, the Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. Uh, we paid for the dessert party last year. We're not doing that uh, this year. Right. But uh, it wasn't bad, and you get a pretty good spot here. I think uh, oh, it's nice to have the reserved spot. That is the best part of the dessert party is the reserved spot. I mean, th this is where you would be. Perfect location. There's more trees that have been taken down. So, you know, it is. if you really want a great spot and you don't want to deal with waiting for the crowds, that would be the main reason for for me to do the dessert party and i don't know how well known prep and landing is like you're right i forgot that there were a lot of guests who didn't know who they were at the dessert party last year with the decorations but i think it's been like five or six years since they had a special right so it's probably kind of time for that now well the merchandise <laughs> they, they have been doing much more merchandising with those characters i myself am drinking right now as we record from a uh, a prep and landing cup a turvis mug a turvis with mug. oogie boogie on there's the back. oogie boogie on the back and there is a uh, wayne and jingle lady bell, jingle yep. bell jingle bam so well, too bad people can't see me <laughs> holding this cup up but uh but the night the nice thing is they're doing more uh well happily ever ever, right, ever after right. has merchandise so for the shows i would like to see maybe an illuminations turvis cup and maybe a shirt that would be very nice it's funny you mentioned illuminations and this kind of reminds me of illuminations this finale here this is just fantastic and of course much better in person i can't recommend enough if you're if you're here
here. I prefer this far over the Star Wars uh, Galactic mm-hmm. Spectacular, by they, the way. I, this year, they, they really outdid themselves with the show. So definitely check it out if you're if you're heading here for the holidays. Um, I'm just, they really did a great job with it this year. Fantastic. And speaking of fantastic, one of the highlights of the whole Christmas season is coming up in this next segment. We are going to head over to the Gaylord Palms Resort for Christmas time. So Gaylord Palms is just really a few minutes off of Disney, well, Disney World property. You're probably closest to Disney's Art of Animation Resort, uh, like a five minute drive from there. So we went for ice, uh, featuring Christmas around the world. Uh, they did invite us. We have been invited for a number of years. A lot more than ice, though. Ice it is, is just lot. the, uh, you know, the cherry on top of well, this whole event. Well, I started going to ice many, many years ago um, on my own. And uh, at that time, it really was just ice. You might have a caroling show, but there really wasn't much more to it than that. But now they have like two million lights um, around the resort, which is incredible. That's like a theme park amount of lights. They have a six story Christmas tree. And they have a joy, it's called a joyful show in the evening, which we'll show a little bit about. And this is the view from our room. I mean, you can get rooms that uh, give you a perfect view of the show. So you can actually watch the show, the nice light show Mm -hmm. and the actual Circuit Dreams Unwrapped from your room, which we we did do. I I really like the atrium rooms. Um, A long time ago, I had a room that was not an atrium room. And I've got to say, having the atrium is everything. I can imagine. (laughs) I can imagine. Um, and you mean ha- I-4 doesn't yeah, quite Yeah, <laughs> it's not the same as being able to see the shows from your balcony and, and just kind of all that is going on. The, again, this is a joyful show. You've got um, projections. You've got lights. Again, this is a resort. And I kept saying that during this, uh, this stay. Uh, we were just there uh, really for a quick overnight. Um, and you see the lights just compared to anything that they've ever done in the past, it is... It really is phenomenal. I can't think of another resort in the whole state of Florida that offers this much stuff. No. At all. I mean, it's there's attractions, shows, all kinds of restaurants. It's uh, pretty spectacular to realize it's really just a, a hotel, a resort. And if you are at the resort, that is included. And also, Cirque Dreams Unwrap, which pretty much plays every night. You have to look online to see what times. Um, this is like, I mean, you have an aerial show and it does cost to $22 to, uh, to park at the resort, right. whether you're doing ice or not, or you can, uh, let's say go to Wrecker's sports bar and spend 50 and get it validated. Yeah. I would highly recommend dining there and, uh, getting that mm-hmm. parking validated. But even if you parked for the $22, I mean, you get to see so much, even if you just don't even go into ice. Although I actually really like ice. This is an awesome act. I, I I've never seen this with, uh, with roller skates we've seen something similar with ice skates before but uh pretty awesome this is Cirque dreams unwrapped it's a 25 minute christmas show that includes a variety of different um acts and uh this is this is one of my favorites a skating show and also anything that's up in the air the aerial acts is is another one of my favorites actually they have two or three different aerial acts and here is uh the cast of uh of Cirque all dreams the shows unwrapped. right and you know we've seen we saw it twice this day and it was much different. There were a lot of different acts. There were a couple mm-hmm. that were the same, but uh, it just goes to show you could see it multiple times and see completely different uh, entertainment. Right. And uh, this is, so we were there for the first night, which was a media night. So you can see the the Peanuts characters, which we'll see um, again. Last year they nutmeg. had- Nutmeg. Yes, Nutmeg. They had a Charlie Brown uh, Christmas last year in Ice. And so that was the first year that they brought the Charlie Brown characters out. For a long time, they had DreamWorks characters. Um, so it's it's nice they kept them for the breakfast. And you have, oh, here they are. If you go to the Charlie Brown breakfast, which we'll be talking about, um, you have all four characters, including Linus, who wasn't here the, last year. Yes, Linus, all new this year. And it's perfect that they brought Linus because, you know, if you remember from the uh, Christmas special, Linus is the one who adds his blanket mm-hmm. to Charlie Brown's tree. So it's very important to have Linus is uh, very, very important <laughs> to the story. And you have, uh, they were really having a good time here. Oh, Snoopy is quite the character, isn't he? I, I was told during uh, busy times, you may find a couple of the characters characters out but only really during busy times and there's it's not guaranteed so the only way to guarantee to see them is to go to the character breakfast which is actually one of my favorites in the area as far as the food especially and then you have the characters well as not well. to worry we will 
fully show the uh, the character breakfast, but let's put on our parkas and go into the nine degrees of goodness of ice. So last year, um, they had Charlie Brown. This year, it's called Christmas Around the World. And it looks like there's nobody here, but it was busy the first day. It, so... it, is, it is absolutely <laughs> the magic of being in here for 45 minutes twice, <laughs> twice to be able to show these shots of, no, of very few people in there. So uh, that's probably why I ended up like this. The best time to go to ICE is like during the week, although we were there on a day during the week. And I guess it must have been like a holiday day or something because it was packed. It was was really busy so just because there's not charlie brown or like frosty the snowman doesn't mean it's not busy um, at times really busy and so here you can see the different characters like it sort of reminds me of epcot holidays yeah, around showcase. the world yes, yes. The old uh, holidays like around the there's world. no helga here but there's no, no helga. Hel there's no helga in epcot yeah, there's no helga there either, either. <laughs> um or in helga. germany i know she was one of my favorites and here you have some carolers so you get to learn a little bit about traditions around the world then you can go down these uh, ice slides. But honestly, I would pay the extra money if it was me, uh, if we go back, and I would buy the snow tubing uh, slides because honestly, the snow, tu uh, the snow tubing slides are a lot How really fast. How would you know? You did neither of them. This is me doing the ice slide right because here. I because I've done both and I had a, I have a. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard thing. time. I know saying, you have, you hurt your shoulder. Yes, I hurt my shoulder, so I didn't want to hurt it anymore. Um, but anyway. I love it. I just love these characters. So there's like 40 artisans who come in for about six weeks and they carve two, two million pounds of ice into these, uh, the variety of characters. Um, They're this, from all China, the scenes, right? From Harbin, China? Harbin, China. Um, and so again, two million pounds of ice. And the end scene we'll see is the nativity scene, but there's a variety of different kinds of ice that they carve. Um, and usually it, what they weren't here this time, but there's something called the frostbite factory where you can actually watch them. Well, the in frostbite action. factory is here. It's just, uh, we were there so early. The artisans were not, uh, they were on a, a little break. I was told they, oh. by now it, they will be fully working in the frostbite factory. That's one of the slight, uh, you know, uh, downfalls of doing Sometimes the early. Sometimes early. Right. But, but uh, we did see them in action during some previews. Yes, absolutely. This is actually one of my favorite areas of the whole exhibit where you can see like plush and different toys and then their ice. They've been their carved counterpart. into... Yes, they've been carved into ice. So I love I, it too. This is my favorite segment. I just, you know, I looked at them and I just thought that was, um, you know, it really shows the skill uh, that is used and and these artisans are working again in about nine degrees it can be like six degrees it can be like 12 degrees but you're in that really cold time and they're there all day long carving all these wonderful scenes well plus i like the fact that they use the clear ice you don't see very much of the clear ice only really in the nativity mm -hmm. scene so it's nice that you're seeing the the actual item and the clear ice item back to back like this it's something i've never really seen before ever in uh, in all the years we've been coming to ice well the crystal clear ice is actually the hardest ice to make which is a surprise right um and it takes them i think longer to make as well so, um, but if you go online, sometimes I'll have a group on, they can have discounts. Uh, you know, you want to save as much money as you can on anything you do. Of so, course. Uh, and certainly for ICE, that would be the case as well. I think they have AAA discounts and such. So I would, check I it would out. absolutely try to find a deal where you can go and do the, uh, the character breakfast. And, uh, and then that'll take care of your parking right there. Right, you can so you get, get to validated. meet the Peanuts characters. And then, of course, see ICE and all the shows. You can make a whole day out of it. So the Peanuts breakfast is not every day. So definitely check and just check out the times if you decide to go. Um, I just, I love this as a tradition for me. They also have so much merchandise in here. And even since uh, when, the second year that I went, it's always been unique merchandise. I think it's even much better than it used to be but i used to like buy ornaments here and just because they'd have different types of items and uh and not just well you have build a bear, -a -bear. here yes star and wars build a bear most of what they have isn't even ice related so it's really really a lot of fun to even shop and there. here comes your snow tubing that you mentioned and of course uh it's very I was, fast i was the guinea pig as usual and did a little uh video of going down the slide this is my helper here <laughs> she gave me a good push and a little spin to get me going and here we go down the ice slide it's so much fun it took uh gaylord palms and our viewers to perfect a snow attraction when they first started trying to do a snow attraction it, it was difficult and it wasn't 
nearly as much fun as this. I think this is the third year, maybe for at this. least at least the third. It's fa- it's the really fourth. fun, and this is like real snow. They make real snow, and then you uh, and then you slide down it, and uh, definitely worth the price. It, that is an extra charge. Cirque Dreams Unwrapped is not an extra charge. The Joyful Tree Show is not an extra charge. Santa Snow Throw is an extra charge as well. But you know when they they started this last year. And I wasn't sure I was going, you know, I thought, oh, it's cute. But it is actually a lot of fun. And how often do you get to throw real snowballs in Florida? Never. Which, yeah, you I was never just going to say never. <laughs> Look at this. There's you in action. I doing actually, a fine job, by the way. I actually I actually enjoy this a lot. We didn't have a lot of time this uh, during our media visit to do the Santa snow throw. Look but at that. You're I hitting the targets to, really well I there. was happy I got to do it at all. So now we're here with um, Breakfast with Charlie Brown and Friends. Again, I... Th- it used to be that this seemed to be a more expensive um, character breakfast and other ones in the area, but now it's a, it's really on par. Um, and you can see the hostess is in. It's just like going, you know, if if Lucy had her little psychiatry stand. Um, oh, well, the very Snoopy. first thing you do before you even go to eat is you meet Snoopy in his own nice little uh, backdrop there. So that was very fun. This is I I just really love this uh, this meal. Again, also because the food is, is excellent. He's very then mis- mischievous this yes, year, by the way. Snoopy is always a lot of fun. But they have such a variety of different items. Like you can get uh, make your own omelet. They have, we'll see, the waffles and just all kinds of fruits, both cut fruits. They have uh, full fruit as well. Well, not to mention what I like most is you're walking around picking out your food and, and you never know who you might... Uh, happen to walk past as you're <laughs> doing Lucy. such a thing. All-star cast is also uh, in the area. So um, anyway, we're passing Lucy. We're also on the right-hand side. Oh, we are no longer passing the eggs. We've got the salmon. Had, had to, couldn't forget showing the salmon. There are some of your eggs there. The the bacon is really good here. And uh, they also have... Omelet station. Oh, yeah, the omelet. You which got I the, did, indeed did the, do that. You've got the full omelet there. The best part of the entire breakfast, though, is this station right here. This is the waffle station, and you can get very special waffles. How do you like this? And we didn't eat any of them. We just took the picture We of used them. them as props. I had French the, toast. <laughs> with the characters, because notice there is no Lucy waffle to be seen, nor a Linus. I'm sure you I, I you had to them, make, yes. make sure that they knew such a thing was <laughs> happening. And this is my uh, first plate here. And doesn't that look good? For, I'm hungry already and I already had breakfast. For me, this is on the on par with the Four Seasons character breakfast that we uh, we paid for that a few years back and, and just really enjoyed that one. Absolutely. I, I, I You know what? I agree with that. As far as, as again, as, food, as far as food quality, as far as atmosphere, as far as characters. I just showed Lucy the, uh, the fact that she that, is not. And Linus too. <laughs> No, they they need to talk to the chef and get their likeness made out of waffles. I think. I think also over the years the uh, the character experience here as well as the food experience. I, the food has always been excellent, but I think that each year it's even a little bit better. It feels much more like something you'd find in a a theme park or a resort. You know, not just off property, but on property. Oh, at, I, not like, not let's only. Say at Walt at, I would say better. I would I would say absolutely better. I had I had a really good time with this one, and and this is one like if we were not being uh, let's say um, here to talk about it, I would want to do the Snoopy breakfast. I would want to do ice, and I would want to do uh, the snow tubing. Certainly, well, we did all the Shrek one a couple of times. We one did. Year. We, we came back. We had such a mm-hmm. good time. I would absolutely come back to this this season. We did. We yeah, I would. My and birthday is coming up, and that's and true. Although I I, it might, <laughs> might be closed by the no, time. I think it's I Does think it it's go still through open. January? Yes, I think it's, it's still open till around the seventh or eighth. So I don't have that in front oh, of me. Oh, and I asked Linus to uh, demonstrate his blanket prowess with the with the uh, Charlie Brown. Tree. For photos. And look at that. He does a fine job. He was so happy to come in uh, and, and uh, do that for, for us. So Jeff asked uh, Linus to do that and Charlie Brown, and then there ended up being a line for photos. <laughs> oh, I'm you know, surprised nobody thought, how can you not want a picture with the famous tree? I thought I thought that was actually a really good idea, although I don't like to ask, you know, characters for You, you for thought too it was much. a good idea after I did it. Yes, because it's I don't a- <laughs> like to ask for more, you know, more time with them. This is great. Now, again, after doing a lot of work and, and really having an awesome some time but being being a little tired so nice to just sit on the balcony and watch the show and relax and enjoy it it was it was probably another highlight for the uh for the overnight for me and again like if you are here 
um, again, check the schedule and such, but this is included in the ice ticket or, you know, even if you just happen to be at the resort, you're staying at the resort or, you know, there for a meal or something, that is something that's included with that. Not to mention they have a uh, tree trail. This is new this year, the Christmas tree trail. Um, and they have different trees, sort of, it's in the same vein as ice where it's, uh, Christmas, Christmas around, around the, the world. world. So, um, very creative. Yeah. So this one's from Africa. And so, you know, it's sort of got an African inspiration to it. They have a United States one, they have the United Kingdom. Um, and it's really just a nice little bonus. You, again, you have like 2 million lights at the resort to enjoy and and okay, there is the Build a Bear Workshop scavenger hunt, which is the hardest scavenger hunt I've it ever is, done. It is not easy. <laughs> well, look at look at the, the bear is in the bushes it. here. Hard to find. And this year it does have an added charge to it. Um, but and, you get an added prize too. Yeah. Oh, and but the thing is, we haven't finished it, so I don't know what the. And we won't finish it. I don't most know if, likely. unless we get we over could, there. We, could. we still might if we have time. Um, but anyway, there is another one of the bears. This is, again, one of the harder scavenger hunts well, I've done you know, in my again, whole life. The Gaylord Palms is a huge, huge, this is all inside, but it is it is huge, so it's not easy to find. This bear wasn't uh, too difficult, though, up in the North Pole. And you can see there's a North Pole post office, and outside of it, you can, like, write your letters to Santa on these really fun uh, postcards, and then you go in, and it's, you know, it's cute. You can just... Uh, get your stamp and everything yeah it's quite the operation even for uh, adults it mm -hmm. was uh, we quite enjoyed uh, going in there and there's also wreckers sports bar well we dined at wreckers sports bar um we've dined here many times and if you in don't want to pay 22 dollars for parking but are interested in eating with a 50 dollar uh, amount spent you can get validated so it's nice to actually say i got something for my money not just parking right and not just wreckers there's Plenty of other restaurants there that will validate. But I just want to say for $22, I mean, if you're there at the right times, you can see the Joyful show. You can see uh, the Cirque uh, Dreams, Cirque Dreams Unwrap. Unwrap. So to me, this year, really, I kind of sit there and say they couldn't not have the parking anymore because... It, well, you get so much, so everybody would be parking there to go look at the lights. Uh, Gaylord Palms, to me, is really someplace that I would go for Christmas no matter what. Absolutely. Even if we weren't invited this year, I would be heading there for ice. I would be heading there for snow tubing. And I would be heading there probably for Charlie Brown breakfast at the very minimum. Yeah, it's just such a wonderful tradition. And uh, I'm just so thankful that, uh, that we get to go there. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to jump over to Disneyland Paris and our good friend, Curious Axel, who's never looked colder. And, uh, <laughs> and you can see why their Tower of Terror here, it has snowed. Actually, today in real life, first the real first snow. snow. I wish we were there to see it. So uh, anyway, Curious Axel from the Curious Axel YouTube channel channel and he'll have a uh, a nice contest we'll talk about at the end of the segment so i'll let him talk here he is curious axel talking all about disneyland paris at night hi guys happy you're still there this thing isn't frozen yet but i am almost and i'm taking some time to show you guys what disneyland paris has to offer here at night <laughs> Let me show you. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. Joy is for the news. For some entertainment, you need to come over to the Walt Disney Studios. But what a show. Let's go check it out.
en voici un pour toi. Le truison au fond, oui. Petit, il a juste besoin d'un peu de magie pour devenir une puissance. Il n'est jamais de plus qu'à Noël, la magie est présente. guys this was it this is what Disneyland Paris has to offer by night you do have to make one little choice or you can see the Christmas lighting ceremony or you can see Goofy's Incredible Christmas so just make the choice if you're only here for one night go see Goofy's Incredible Christmas so that was it and maybe just one little thing because it's a season of giving um, I decided to do a little giveaway so a um, few things uh, all up together including the famous gold coin you can win that one too among other stuff so the only thing you have to do for that is to go to the Curious Axel channel subscribe and down in the comments here below just uh, text me a message of Merry Christmas that's it nothing more and I hope one of you wins it contest is open for uh, US and uh, EU so good luck to all and I hope to see you real soon Merry Christmas guys bye bye hi Scrooge this time I brought you the gold coin so Scrooge is so excited he finally got the gold coin and so can one of our viewers. Look at that. I mean, look at that. I didn't even know until just now what the prize pack was like, but that is really nice. Thank you so much to Axel uh, for having this contest. Check out his Curious Axel YouTube channel. And I'll jump in here. Axel wanted me to clarify. You're going to go to Curious Axel and subscribe and then leave the message Merry Christmas right here on this week's episode of Mouse Steps Weekly. And he said uh, two weeks from now. So let's just call it uh, December 14th. We will choose the winner and, uh, and we'll ship that out. If it's a U.S. winner, we'll ship it when he's here in the U.S. in January. If it's somebody from Europe, he'll ship it out right away. Thank you again. That was just really wonderful of Axel to uh, offer our viewers uh, this really wonderful prize pack. He makes you really want to go to Disneyland Paris, doesn't he? He does a good job of that. I have been wanting to go ever since I saw what was there now. And I mean, it's been really hard well, to see everything. The day, and not go. You're, you're obsessed with the daytime Christmas parade, which I don't blame you. The music, the new song they have this year is amazing. But not only that, but like the big band beat type show. Mm -hmm. And there is so much. Disneyland Paris has the, I think, the best Christmas of all the Disney parks this year. Well, we don't know the Asia ones. Well, we haven't I, seen those. I, those who I know who have, who have been to Asia this year say... Uh, they actually I, say uh, DLP. they think that that Disneyland Paris is even better this year. So I would love to go. Like I have really worked <laughs> hard to try to get there this year, but we have done so much traveling. We've already this been year. there this year for we three weeks. We have been. We were there, and uh, it's hard. You can't. I always say can't you do can't it do it all. And but I want to do it all. So <laughs> well, speaking of doing it all, we have done it all. That is another show. We want to thank our sponsor, MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. And they can do Paris as well. Yes, so, absolutely. Uh, they can book Gaylord Palms. They can book Walt Disney World. Um, they are Disney specialists. Uh, they can book Disneyland Paris and uh, Asia. They pretty much can book anything around the world. So check them out. Absolutely. And next week, we're going to be back. We're going to talk all about Epcot used to be called Holidays Around the World, but now it is the Epcot Festival of the Holidays. And we'll talk about more than more than of course. just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, um, we'll have more uh, gingerbread, all kinds of uh, gingerbread houses from our our uh, goings around. And, and I would like to talk about the Christmas tree trail at Disney Springs. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if it will be next week yet, but if you are coming like in the next week or two before we talk 
talk about it, definitely check out the Christmas tree trail at Disney Springs this year mm -hmm. because uh, it is way better than it was free. last year. It is free. And it's included. <laughs> That's right. Included in the free that it is to park at Disney Springs <laughs> and walk around there. So I really, I really like the Christmas tree trail this year. So anyway, that's another show. Thanks for listening. Have a great week. Merry Christmas. Almost Happy New Year. And we'll see you all next week. It's almost December. It's not even December yet. It's almost yet. springtime. <laughs> I am, as always, I'm ready for the Flower and Garden Festival. And the Epcot Festival of the Arts. That's true. See you all next week. Have a great week.